It was December 2008 when the world first learned the name Bernie Madoff and of his Ponzi scheme which defrauded investors of over $17.5 billion. A court appointed bankruptcy attorney Irving Picard as trustee to try to recover funds for the victims. How? By clawing back money from individuals who pulled out their investments and ill-gotten profits before the pyramid collapsed. Five years after Mr. Madoff's arrest, how much money has been returned to investors? Some of that $17.5 billion has been recovered by the courts through forfeiture actions against people including Mr. Madoff's brother and former compliance chief Peter Madoff. In 2009, over $235 million was collected from a so-called feeder fund forced to make payments to the Madoff trustee. Feeder funds are pooled investments, more on them in a moment. Another $220 million was returned in 2010 by the family of real estate tycoon Norman Levy, who died five years before. In January 2011, the estate of Jeffrey Peacower, who died in 2009, was forced by civil forfeiture to put $5 billion into the pot. Later that year, the IRS kicked in $326 million in income tax payments that had been withheld on fictitious dividend payments. This year, New York Mets owners Sal Katz and Fred Wilpin added $75.5 million as part of a settlement agreement. In some total, $9.5 billion has been recovered, more than half of the total amount lost. To date, $4.7 billion of it has been distributed to claimants. Who's gotten the money? Out of a total of over 16,500 claims, only around 2,500 claims have been accepted. Others have been withdrawn, are pending litigation, or are determined to be legitimate but haven't yet been filed with the trustee. Over 2,700 claims have been flat out denied. In a separate category are nearly 11,000 claims from individuals in feeder funds who indirectly invested in Madoff's Ponzi scheme. They can now apply to recover money from a separate $2.4 billion fund set up by the Justice Department. In some total, around $12 billion of that $17.5 billion should eventually be returned. That leaves about $5.5 billion that will never be seen again. Much like Mr. Madoff himself, who at 75 years old is serving a 150-year prison sentence. That's the short answer.